often have during the winter? Bugs, bugs. You know, I, I'm an animal advocate and I love critters. Not a big fan of bugs though, okay? I admit freely that when I see a spider, I make a noise you rarely hear coming from a man, okay? <laughs> I don't necessarily want to kill them. I just want them out of the house. So when I saw this, I thought, that's a good idea. It's a telescoping bug vacuum. Because you don't want to suck bugs into your regular vacuum. You don't really know where they go. This is Kylie Watts. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing really good. Let's show them how this works. And let's also point out, yeah. you know, bugs do actually serve a purpose. A big purpose, they for feed, sure. They feed other critters, mm -hmm. okay? Some bugs are pollinators, which we need, but I, I don't need them in my house. I agree with you 100%. There's not a person on the planet, even if you like bugs, that wants to live with them in your home. Yeah. So this is a great way to catch and release them where the bugs won't actually be harmed. It's 7.4 volts. It's a great little handheld vacuum that telescopes out. This little piece goes from 10 to 16 inches, so you can reach up high and get maybe those spiders that are up top, but then you're able to catch and release them. So it's a great way to get them out of yeah. the house, but put them back into nature where they're in. And I'm telling you, I'm a big fan of catch and release. It's not, it's like bug fishing. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So now watch this. Now, by the way, the other reason, your home vacuum is too powerful. Yeah. It'll kill a bug because of the suction. Stink bugs are these, if you don't have them in your neighborhood, Stink bugs are these little flying armadillos. They are, and they don't really serve much of a purpose. So I don't, I don't love them as much, but like spiders, for instance, they're a little scary, but they serve a great purpose in nature. So you saw, we just sucked up a bunch of bugs. They're in here. There's a trap door on the end. So if I turn it this way, they're not gonna fall out. They're not gonna come out of the bug vacuum until I'm ready to take them off. And to do so, you just take the little wand out right here, right. and then you're able to dump them back out. And, so and you go outside, and like with that one spider, you talk to it as you release it. I do talk to because, it. Once. Because you know that the spider you caught has a bigger brother somewhere else in your home. You want them to be your friend, right? Well, you want to put them back in nature where they're intended to be. So this is small and compact, super lightweight, telescopes up. You're seeing it grabbing the cobweb, so it does not, a great job at that. You're not smushing them up against the wall with a newspaper. Right, grabbing that shoe. You're not zapping their guts. <laughs> Screaming, running for cover, you know. No. I'm the same way, like the second I see a bug in the house, I yell for my Dan to come get it. And what does he do? He grabs a shoe, he grabs a paper towel, he makes a huge we mess. Go, we go into hunter-killer mode. Sure do. Yeah. But this is so much easier. So easy easy to operate, it's one touch of a button, you charge it up for three hours, it runs for an hour. Now, now we're using little plastic bugs, yeah. the whole idea here is it works with, with those flies that have expired, right? or the bugs, that, but it works with living bugs and catches them safely, trap door at the end so they can't get away, and That's so you, right. you then take this outside and release them into the into the garden. And it could be on your countertop, the ants are coming in, we're picking them all up. And what I love is, so we got all the bugs, they're in here, they're still alive. We're able to go up high too, because you have that great reach. So right. they could be cobwebs or bugs up top. And then when you're ready to take them out, you keep them in here. The trap door means they're not gonna fall out, so you don't have to worry about them coming around back in the house. You open this up, and then you're able to dump Dump the them bugs without out. touching them. Catch and release in a great way. Now, I know it's indoors, but I mm -hmm. gotta tell you, things like aphids on my tomatoes. Yeah. I, I've been at war with bugs in the past. I don't wanna use chemicals. No. I, do, I don't wanna use insecticides. And I, I'm not a big fan of having strangers in my house and the bug guy coming over anyway. Agreed. So now you've got something mm -hmm. as a new innovative way of making it work. And that's the thing, get them out of You're your house. You're gonna jump up outside? Yeah, we can okay. go back outside. This is where they're intended to be. Bugs are so important for you know our gardens, for our lives, really. You don't wanna kill them if you don't have to. So this way, they're in here, they're in here until you want them out. Trapdoor means they don't go anywhere. Right. Open this up and then release them back to where they wanna be. Run. They want out of your house <laughs> as much as you want them out of the house too, trust that, me. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I gotta tell you what, again, killing them doesn't make sense to me. Mm -mm. It just doesn't. I'm not a big fan of spiders, but spiders eat bugs that, that are even more frightening. Yes. Uh, and you'd be surprised Wanna how- Do some spiders here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How, how simple it is to work. So you get one line, I'll get the other, yes. okay? So you hit the Ready? touch of a button. Now these are plastic bugs too, so these are even heavier than regular bugs would be. But you see they kind of hop in there, you've got an inch opening, so even the bigger bugs are in here. And, and then there's there's a trap door. Trap door. So they're not so coming they back out. They can't come back out mm -mm. until you release them. Mm -hmm. 
Be free. Yes. It is. It's bug fishing, catch and release. You're not making a mess. I You're like not putting that. it in your own vacuum. It's easy to use. The kids are going to love this. And, and I, I like the idea that I don't have to buy batteries. It's a battery rechargeable system. Right. Uh, and it's $22.75. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first heard of this, it sounded a little, little gimmicky. Yeah. until I saw the engineering on it. This thing is really well done. It's awesome. And I can't even tell you, oh, I just dropped him here. How many people have come up on the t to the table, thought they were real bugs, and told me stories, horrifying stories yeah. of their house where they run for cover because nobody wants a bug inside of their house. They don't want to live with the bugs. They want them out. So whether they're pink bugs or ladybugs, you don't want to hurt them. You want to just put them back in their natural environment. Look at that. But look how they just jump in. So this is 7.4 volts, so it's not right. strong enough to harm them, but powerful enough. Yeah. where it's picking them up. Your home vacuum has too much suction too for this. Too much power. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you literally, you'll kill the bug by accident. Yeah. And keep in mind, listen, we're not a fan of flies, yeah. but flies are food for a lot of, of very beneficial animals. Birds, for sure. Yep. All of, and birds help pollinate as well, too. So you don't want to be taking away their food. You just want them out of the house without spraying chemicals. Yeah. You have kids and pets around. It's a much better way to clean them up. And it's fun, too. You get them out. You get them out for good. Put them back to their home in the wild. You know, I don't want to be mean, but, you know, that stink bug and that fly <laughs> never paid rent. They didn't. Didn't even ask for reservations. They, they just showed up. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. That's a neat little idea. You know what though, Kylie? I expect cool stuff from you. You bring us really good items and you have for years. Brand new today, our today's special value from the, the great folks at Joe. And there really is a Joe. 